Hi, everybody. Um, I thought I would jump on live today and quickly answer a few questions that have been coming through. I went to on stage in Melbourne uh, last month and had a fabulous time. The um, conference was really informative. It was my first time going. There were lots of exciting things revealed, which demonstrators um, around the world have now started to see. It started to filter out. My catalogue, um, I obviously got one at on stage, but my actual catalogue in the mail arrived today. So that's exciting. So hopefully during this quick chat, I will answer any questions that anybody has. If you are catching this on the replay, please pop a um, question for me. I will get back to you at some point. Now, I'm hoping that my voice <clears throat> does actually make it through this. I will check in a second to make sure I've got some water just in case. But the biggest buzz, I guess, around um, the um, card making chat at the moment with Stamping Up is the exclusive gift that we were given in the product playground. So um, when you go to on stage, there are lots of things. You do get a chance to, oh, well, this year we did um, an after dark. So um, that was a paid um, crafting session. That was fantastic because um, I chose the citrus blooms, which let me see, it's these ones here. I think you can sort of see them. Um, that's some of the ones that I got to do. Um, one up the top here as well. So that was lots of fun playing with new products before anybody else um, had seen them or got their hands on them. Um, lots of fun with that one. Product Playground was um, during one of the days we got a chance to go around. There were lots of different things that we got to do. We got to look at the new ink colours. We got to look at um, the new um, ribbons and things that are available. But one of the biggest things we got was the colour wheel. Now, this is what all the fuss is about, is the colour wheel. Now, it will be really hard for me probably to get this close enough that you are going to be able to see, but let me walk you through it. So this is the front of the colour wheel. Around the outside is the colours. Now, obviously, but um, they're broken up into blue, blue, violet, violet, red, violet, red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, and blue, green. So this is what all of our colours come under as a general umbrella. So underneath each one of those is um, approximately one, two, three, four, um, three or four colours. There are some colours that overlap into um, a different range. So for example, and let me bring this a little bit closer to the camera so you can see it. So there's green. Okay, you can see there's shaded spruce Shy Shamrock, which is a new in colour, um, Pretty Peacock, and Lost Lagoon kind of sits in there, but it also sits in the blue-green. So you can see I'm just going to move it slow, slowly around. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Sorry, my camera work is not great. Let me go this way. It might be easier. There's the greens, yellow-greens, yellows. Whoops, a bit wonky now. We see the orange, yellows, oranges, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the centerpiece is probably the biggest chat that everyone is on about. So let me show you. I'm going to swap over a little bit. This might be easier for me. Okay, there are a couple of elements on this color wheel. Now, before I go through them, and I know lots of people are saying I haven't I haven't got one, I want one, I don't know how to make one, can somebody send me photos? It's actually really quite simple and I'll show you why. And I don't know if anybody has shared this yet. Um, there is a backside <laughs> to this, okay, and it explains each one. So let me bring, I'm going to go this way because it's easier, this one, triadic. So this is the one I've been playing with. So triadic means to craft with colours that are evenly spaced around the colour wheel. Go beyond the primary colours of red, yellow and blue for something unexpected. Okay, so basically all you're going to do is you are going to cut your colour wheel into thirds, okay? Now, the next one, colour your way, be a colour explorer, use this complete colour wheel as a tool to help create beautiful colour combinations 
for your craft projects, what new color combinations will you try? So I'm assuming that's probably where I should have started. Complementary. Now, this is a basic color um, theory. If you um, have ever done art or anything like that, you should know about what complementary colors are. They are opposite on the color wheel. It says, you know what they say, opposites attract. Try pairing colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel to create a fun, bold contrast. Yes, this color wheel um, will show you exactly what that is. Um, and I'll show you in a minute when we turn it back around what I mean. But you can approximately, so get a ruler in on the color wheel that you have in front of you and just put it in the middle and see what two colors line up. If you don't have a color that's exact, use one that's very similar, one that's one or two either side of it. It probably won't matter much. Okay, monochromatic. Now, if you've been following along with me, monochromatic is something that you should know about. It's when you choose one color. On the color wheel, the monochromatic actually shows you about five colors. So within that color range, and that's approximately each of those larger um, color sections that I said. So like a blue, blue, green, 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 yellow, like one of those chunks is what they call uh, monochromatic. I've been doing monochromatic uh, Insta hops on Instagram with um, a group and we're using one color in its different shades. So, we, you know, if you use it um, first generation, second generation, third generation stamping, or if you're using um, ink blending, but it is all using one color. The monochromatic on this one, the definition is, you know, in the same shade of that color. Oops, this way. Neutrals, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. These are not on the color wheel. Neutral colors are the most uh, perfect companions to almost any color combination. Uh, they're here to work for you, adding subtlety or drama to your projects. Again, if you um, have been following along with me on the monochromatic hops, you will see that a lot of people use white, vanilla, gold, silvers, blacks, all those neutrals to help make those colors pop. Okay, getting it going now. Now, I'm not going to <laughs> attempt this word. Uh, analogous, I think, is, the, is how you pronounce it. Okay. Whoops. Choose three colors that are side by side on the color wheel. These color neighbors work together wonderfully to create harmony and balance. I'll show you that in a moment. What that basically means is you are actually taking three of those larger chunks. So a green, yellow, green, and yellow, for example, those three um, parts of the spectrum of the rainbow, you're using colors from that so that it makes it look harmonious. Okay, the last one. Whoops. Have I been through this one, triadic? I think I did. Um, so basically you're using the opposites and you're using a third. So let me flip this back around. It might make more sense now. So in the middle here, you can see the thirds, triadic. Whoops. Everything's the opposite here. Triadic. So it's splitting that color wheel in thirds. It wouldn't matter what color wheel you have, whether you have the stamping up one or just a generic color wheel, the triadic is going to work if you are taking it in thirds. This one I have chosen when I've using it, used it to um, use those colors specifically because it actually points to specific colors. For example, on this one, we've got Berry Burst, Peach Pie, and Lost Lagoon. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay. That, that sounds like a holiday. No, <laughs> um, I I might give that one a go, actually. Okay, so how do, how do you get this to translate into a colour wheel that you don't have that's like mine with this part? So this part does move around, so you can choose. So like I said, here we go. Uh, where are we? Over here, Compl complementary, okay? You can see there are four colours on the colour wheel that have been chosen. So you would use Poppy Parade, Melon Mumbo, Pretty in Pink and Flirty Flamingo all together with, or one of them, with the complementary on the opposite side, which would be Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon, um, what's that one, Summer Splash and Coastal Cabana. So if you were to choose, say, Summer Splash and Flirty Flamingo, it should go really, really well together. Okay, so give that a go. 
Um, let me see, what else have we got? That's the complementary. So that's the opposites. The triadic is the thirds. And the monochromatic is where you're choosing just within that basic one, one colour wedge, I guess, of the colour wheel. Um, and the last one is that anal an analogous, whatever it is, and that's like the three different colours. So uh, let me see. Let me choose a pretty one, something that I might like. Here we go. So that's it there. And you can see because it's got the window. So you could probably actually really make a template yourself that's got the window. Just cut it out so it's approximately that many. Um, it's two, four... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten colours there or thereabouts. Let me try it. Whoop, put that that way. Okay. So I'm going to choose, and I may not use all of them. I might only use four. But Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, Flirty Flamingo, Pretty in Pink, Melon Mumbo, Poppy Parade, Real Red, Cherry Cobbler, Bubble Bath, and Fresh Freezer. And you know what I've just realised? I wonder if we went through some of the DSP whether or not it uses this colour theory, because this is all about colour theory. If you've done art before, this is about colour theory. So, um, and look, there's probably millions of videos on YouTube around colour theory, but this is the stamping art one. Um, like I said, this stuff on the back is probably that first bit of information if you've never done art before and you're really interested in the colour theory side of it. This will, it will eventually no longer be um, this has only kind of got, you know, this, this current year's colours in it. I'm pretty sure somebody said, and I haven't actually really looked hard, but they did say that it's got the outgoing, I'm just trying to see, the outgoing in colours, excuse me for a second, Sweet Sorbet. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't have our outgoing. It's only got the 2024 25 and the 2023 20, 24 colors on it so not the ones that are just about to sell out now um it would be awesome big shout out to stamping up right now here's my idea make a digital version of this on the website under resources or whatever and you can just click a button and it goes around like a wheel um and then it pops up you know and you can choose monochromatic you can choose triadic you can cho choose complementary and you either choose a color or you make it random and then the wheel spins around and it spits out um, a color combination wouldn't that be so cool surely there's an app developer or somebody who can create a widget that can go on and do that and then everybody would have access and what a cool selling tool for all the demonstrators out there and I think somebody said today on one of the forums that how awesome would this be you know, you're a beginner, you don't know what colours you want to purchase to make a start. You know, looking at this, what colours might go together. You know, if you're on a budget and you can only choose five or six colours, ink pads and, and um, stamp and blends and, you know, whatever it is to make a start, at least you know that if you bought certain colours, they're kind of going to um, go together. And that's why I do love this year's um, ink colours. I love the array of colour within them and they all seem to really suit each other. Oh, gosh, I hope this really helps. I hope this helps with um, everybody asking lots of questions. I was going to pull up the card that I created using this um, that I got lots of questions about. I think I've already sent it in the mail. Make a card, send a card, that's what I say. If you have any questions, like I said, just um, pop a message down. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I'm really nervous coming on and doing these live streams. Um, my friend Tracy really encourages it and a few other people are starting to say, yeah, Rachel, do it. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm a teacher in real life, but I'm actually a bit of an introvert. I don't like to put myself out there too much out of my comfort zone. So, oh, thanks, Heather. That's so kind of you. Oh, that makes me feel really good. I'll probably go red now. Um, so, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I don't know what the policies are. No one has said don't post photos. So, you know, I've added a couple of photos into some of my social media. I haven't added them so that you probably can see all the information. Maybe I will. Maybe that's just an idea. And if I get into trouble, I get into trouble. But I just think it's such a fabulous tool. I'm so blessed that I got to go 
It was my first on stage. So this is such a huge gift. And you can kind of see over my shoulder the bag that we got given. And I used it for the first time today to take out crafting with some friends. So hello to my friends, Kelly and Lisa and Leona. Thank you so much for dragging me out today out of my comfort zone. So, oh, I'm so glad it helps. Do you need anything else, Heather? Just message me if you do. So hopefully everybody else will find the same. I'll just do one more close-up shot whoop, so that you can kind of see some of that. Let me lift it up a bit and drag it, drag it over a bit. And hopefully, like, that will just give you an idea of what you can start with. And you know what? Message me. If you're not sure and you want me to use mine and tell you what colours go together, I'm happy for that too. I'm in Australia, Heather. Um, I'm in Queensland, Australia, so it's just getting dark outside now. My... Um, 18 year old should be home soon for dinner, so hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks very much for joining me. Um, I will catch you at my next live. Bye.